a very happy morning to one and all. We all are gathered here to celebrate the English Day program for the year 2021 and 22. I welcome you all for this virtual celebration. Let's start our today's program with the prayer song. Here we have with us our primary choir to sing a prayer song. From Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 7. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Never rely on what you think you know. Remember the Lord in everything you do, and He will show you the right way. Never let yourself think that you are wiser than you are. Simply obey the Lord and refuse to do wrong. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, brother for sharing the Bible verses. Next, we have with us Yarini M.K., leader of English Literary Club of Standard Fire to deliver the welcome address. Good morning to our Honorable Chairman, Respected Correspondent, Board of Trustees, Principal, Vice Principal, Headmistress, Teachers, and my dear friends. I, Yalni of Standard 5A, leader of English Literary Club, feel honored to welcome you all to this celebration. A special thanks to the Chief Guests of the Day, Ms. Vijayalakshmi Chandan and Ms. Vinisha Maligarjuna. Thank you for accepting the invitation, ma'am. I am standing here feeling lucky to be a part of a small way of our students' life. The school is so proud of all you have accomplished and every achievement you have garnered for yourself. This is the highly multi-talented badge of students in our school. You have been excellent performers in academics and you don't hold back even in extracurricular activities. Like your theme says it all, knowledge is power, knowledge is supreme, it cannot be ruined. Knowledge enables us to live our dream. No mountain is too high and the sky is only the limit. Be limitless in all that you do. Like you have brought 
Lawrence to our school. Continue to do so for everyone around you. Like every year, we have made this year's English Day celebration with its own uniqueness and success. I thank Yarini for welcoming all. Here comes next a special speech by Amina Fatima of Standard 4B to explain how English derived. Good morning everyone. My name is Amina Fatima of 4 Standard B section from St. Mary's Girls High Secondary School. Today, my topic is Origin of English. The language English has its origin in the early medieval period. It is a West Germanic language and today is spoken almost in every nooks and corners of the world. The language has a total development period of almost 1400 years. Where did English come from? When we talk about English, we often think of it as a single language. But what do the dialects spoken in dozens of countries around the world have in common with each other? These are the questions raised. The history of English is commercially, if perhaps, to neatly divided into three periods, usually called Old English or Anglo-Saxon, Middle English and Modern English. Adding a big amount of French and larger vocabulary to the English language previously spoken, today that language is called Old English. Old English belongs to Germanic language family. The Old English period was from the mid the mid 11th century. The Middle English period was from the late 11th century to the late 15th century. The Old and Modern English period was from the late 15th century to the late 17th century. And the Modern English period was from the late 17th century to the present. Regardless of the many languages, one is fortunate to be fluent in English. The version of English that is spoken today is most commonly referred to as modern English. Every form of media today is operated in this language. In the present world, English acts as a unified factor for people from all over the world. Thank you everybody. Thank you Amina. It was wonderful speech. Let me call Hanifa Shahin of Standard 4D to give a intro about judges speech. Now let me introduce our guests. We have classified the classes into grade 1 and grade 2. The judge for standard 1 and 2 is Ms. Vijayalakshmi Chandran, MBA Marketing and HR. Currently working as a L1 Executive Hexave Technologies. Thank you ma'am for sparing time with us. Next, the judge for standard 3, 4 and 5 is Ms. Vinisha Malikarjuna, MA Communication. Currently working as Social Media Executive in Echo VME Digital Marketing Agency. Thank you ma'am for being our judge in spite of your busy schedule. Thank you Hanifa. It's time to invite our lovable HM Mrs. Tilakavati Peruman to declare the results. Good morning to all. I am happy to announce the English elocution results on this occasion. My hearty congratulations to all the winners. Here we go with the winners list. Standard 1. First place goes to Pavadarshini S of 1st Standard B. Second place goes to Carol Janita of 1st Standard B. Third place goes to Roshni C of 1st Standard C. Standard 2, first place goes to Mushfira Fatima D of 2nd D. Second place goes to A. Farnas D of 2nd B. Third place goes to Litika of 2nd B. 
Standard 3, first place goes to v Kavilaya of 3rd A. Second place goes to Shahana Fatima S of 3rd B. And third place goes to Filsha Gifty of 3rd D. Standard 4, first place goes to Farhana Fatima A of 4th A. Second place goes to Amina Fatima Y of 4th B. And third place shared by two of them, Hanifa Shaheen M of 4th D and Joshua of 4th A. Standard 5, first place goes to Meghna S of 5th A. Second place goes to Tanishka K of 5th A. And third place goes to Sharon Samraj of 5th B. I thank all the parents for their hard work and cooperation in bringing out their children's talent. For those who did not win, please do not give up or lose your heart. Keep trying. Thank you, one and all. Thank you so much, ma'am. Morning, everyone. My name is Pavadeshini. I am studying in first standard. I go to speak about my mother. My mother is the most important person in my life. She does everything for me. She is very adorable and caring. My mother is a housewife. She is one of the people I respect. Love the most for me. My mother is the best mother in the world. My mother is a kind and a loving person. Thank you. Good morning to one and all present here. My name is Muspira Fatima, second standard. My topic is my superhero. My father is my real hero and I did person of my life. His name is Mr. U. Muhammad Chakula. He is very sincere and beautiful. He is very intelligent and loving too. He is very kind-hearted person. My father has a lot of patience. He supports me in all my problems and guides me. My father is a honest person. He always understands my feelings and sadness. He always taught me good values. He always taught me good values. He, he spends time with me every day and encourages me to participate in sports. He loves cricket so much. He loves cricket so much. So his desire is, I want to be in Indian men's cricket team. But he won't force me. It's up to my decision. Now I am going to say few lines for my father. My father is my superhero. My father is my superhero. He always got my back as I grow. He always got my back as I grow. He was my knight in shining on man. My loving and caring protector. He was my knight in shining on man. My loving and caring protector. He can endure anything. He can endure anything. He can sacrifice everything. He can sacrifice everything. You are your bravest man in my life. You are your bravest man in my life. I love your warmest hugs and your sweetest kisses. I love your warmest hugs and your sweetest kisses. I love you so much. And you are your lovely father in my world. And you are your lovely father in my world. Thank you. A very warm and my heartfelt greetings to our respected principal, HMM, teachers and my dear friends. First of all, I would like to thank you all for me giving me this opportunity. My name is Kavidaya. I am studying 3rd standard in St. Mary's Education Girls High Secondary School. Today I am here to elocute on the topic, If I Wear a Bird. Everyone loves to dream big. Some dreams are possible to be made too. Some are based on a complete imagination. I always had a dream that if I wear a bird, I can fly high above the sky. I want the best qualities of all the birds. I would seem like a nightingale, remain as sharp as an eagle, move as fast as a hummingbird and dance as well as peacock. 
I will make my home on the tallest trees and sleep soundly under the full moon. I will rise early and drink fresh water from the river streams. After bathing the warmest springs, I will drive myself under the sun. I will experience all the weathers and migrate during winter. Flying high, I can enjoy the fresh breeze and watch beautiful sunset from the top. If I were a bird, I would really enjoy flying our wonderful nature. But I fear, because of our human activities, their lives are in extinct. More than 150 birds species have gone extinction. Around 1,400 bird species are threatened with extinction today. That is 14% of the bird species. Let us join our hands and protect the smallest and powerful creature of our mother nature. Once again, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Principal, Vice Principal, Headmistress, 
teachers and my dear friends i have always wondered why is english important for students it is because english language plays an essential role in our lives as it helps in communication it is the main language for studying any subjects all over the world english is important for students as it broadens their minds develops emotional skills improve the quality of life by providing job opportunities moreover the use of english as an international language is growing with time because it is the only medium for communication in many countries english is widely in the literature and media section to publish books most of the writers write in english language so a language with so many good elements has been taught to us daily in our schools our teachers help us to learn the language to speak effectively when we speak effectively we gain confidence in delivering our ideas the best ways i would like to thank the language for it has made our lives progressive and i am really feeling proud that i can speak english with confidence the seed has been sown by our teachers and i am sure we will grow as a strong trees and branch out widely a promise i would like to make today as a marian we will rise and shine and make the marian flag fly high because we the youngsters of today are the future of tomorrow and will never let our institution down now let me enact a small skit of how our teachers put in the effort and teach us Noun is a particular person, place, or 
boy, girl, stay, can be friend, fruit, bird. Sir, is a tree common now? Yes, because we are talking about trees in general, not about one particular kind of tree. Sir, now I understood I did not mention whether it is a mango or a banyan tree. Yes, so now you understood the difference between a proper noun and a common noun. Yes, yes sir, we very well understood. Now let us wind up the class for today and we will continue in the next class. Your homework will be write five examples for proper noun and common noun. Okay sir. Thank you children. Thank you sir. Thank you Joshua. Now we have come to the end of the program. So I call upon Farhana Fatima of Standard 4A to deliver the vote of thanks. A warm and wonderful morning to everyone. I am here for Hana Fadima from Fourth A to propose a word of thanks speech on this English Day celebration. First of all, I extend my most sincere thanks to the Almighty God for making this online English Day event a resounding success. With His blessings and grace, we are able to make this event what it was. Our English Day team is. Knowledge is power. Power is wisdom, and wisdom is understanding. Knowledge is one of the most powerful weapons, which is the key to the development we see and enjoy today. Knowledge provides us with a vision for the future. I thank for our school management for giving the wonderful thing on this English day. On behalf of our school, I extend the hearty thanks to our chief guest. Who spend time from their busy schedule? My gratitude goes to all the guests for raising the occasion and sharing their opinions. Your thoughts have enlightened our minds and shown us a new path. A special thanks to our respected principal, vice principal, and headmistress for being the catalyst that stimulated us to do our best and standing as pillars of our strength. I am immensely thankful to our loving teachers for their untiring efforts. An event like this cannot happen overnight. We have been fortunate enough to be have a team of very proactive and dedicated teachers. I thank all our teachers for their support on this English Day celebration. Next, our sincere gratitude goes to all parents for their support. Let's all stand for the national.